Hi, small groups. Pastor Brian again here with part four, uh, video four of our uh, Christian Essentials small group series. Looking at the second half of the um, statement of faith about Jesus. I'm going to read it again for us so we can all be reminded of what uh, Crossroads Statement of Faith says in regards to what we believe about Jesus. We believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son. We believe that he is fully God and fully man, conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. We believe in his sinless life, his substitutionary atonement, his bodily resurrection from the dead, his ascension in heaven, his high priestly intercession on behalf of his people, and his visible return to earth. Last video, we covered our, the first three of those topics, and again, we separated those out because there's quite a few verses. Today, you'll see that there's not as many verses about each of these topics. We could go into more depth, but for time purposes, we just picked a few. So the first topic we're going to discuss in that statement of faith was that Jesus died. Not that he swooned. Um, that's a, a, a theory that people who don't believe that Jesus died and was resurrected say that Jesus swooned and that when he uh, was put into the grave, he came back. It wasn't he came back from, from death, but he came back, he revived himself. And there's so many flaws in that, I don't have time to go into it. Um, there's lots of other uh, different theories as to Jesus didn't actually die. But we have to remember is Jesus was crucified under Roman rule. And if there's one thing Rome was really, really good at, it was murdering criminals, um, executing criminals. They were very, very talented and very, very efficient. And so there is zero chance that Jesus would have come off that cross had he not died. And so we're going to take just a few minutes, um, look at his death in each of the four Gospels. You'll see those on your screen here in just a minute. Push pause, look up those verses as a group. Again, there's one in each of the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. When you've done that, push play, and you'll come to a series of questions for you as your group to discuss together. Um, I hope these discussions um, have a give-and-take element, have a growing in knowledge together as you discuss them. So again, go through the verses, uh, answer those questions. When you're done, push play, and we'll be back with our next topic. Our next topic when we discuss Jesus directly following his death comes, da, 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 his resurrection. It makes sense. Um, this is a, a, a key, I was going to say a key component, but it's the key component to our theology. Uh, if Jesus did not rise from the dead, um, Paul says that we are, we are essentially to be mocked, that our faith means nothing. Um, and so what we want to do is, is look at, again, the four gospel accounts of the resurrection of Jesus there's some other verses that Paul mentions and different people mention about the resurrection of Jesus, but we're going to look at the firsthand kind of eyewitness accounts of the resurrection of Jesus in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So again, you'll find those verses, uh, and they're, I call them the address, um, their, their location in Scripture, chapter, and verse. Um, look through those as a group, discuss the questions that follow, then push play, and we'll head to the next topic. All right, our next topic is the ascension of Jesus. I think in the questions I even talk about this, this is something that's not nearly talked about as much as his death and his resurrection, but it's incredibly important. It's incredibly important that Jesus being fully man ascended into heaven so that we may follow him. Um, the Bible calls him a forerunner, that he went first into, the, into heaven as a fully formed man so that we as fully formed people can follow. There's a couple verses to look at. Um, that recount the ascension of Jesus as he finished his, he completed his mission here on earth in his first coming. Um, we'll talk about that in a second. In his first coming, he finishes and ascends back to where he came. So look at those verses, discuss those questions, and push play when you're ready. The next section in the Statement of Faith says, 
that we believe in his high priestly intercessing on behalf of his people. So we want to take, we're going to look at one verse, just one, uh, one section of verses this time, to look at Jesus being our high priest, that he is the one who goes, he's, go, he's the mediator between us and God. He goes between, he is our way back to right relationship with God. In the same way in the Old Testament, the high priest on the day of atonement would would atone for the sins of the people of Israel. Jesus has atoned for our sins and stands with God as the high priest. So take a look at those section, that one section of verses. Discuss the questions and push play when you're ready. I got to be honest, small groups, the Hebrews 4 passage that you just looked up is one of my favorites. It gives me so much hope and so much peace knowing that, that the high priest who sits at the right hand of God the Father knows what it means to be human and knows what it means to struggle with all the things that you and I struggle with. And that's why the Bible can tell us that we can go boldly before the throne of grace when we need help. Again, this is not me preaching. I'm done preaching. Let's move on to the next topic. The last part is that we believe in a visible return of Jesus in his second coming. There's lots of different verses we could have chosen from. Again, we chose one um, that we can look at today that tells us that he will be returning. And just a little bit about what that might look like. Take some time, look up that verse, and, and take plenty of time to discuss this. There's lots of different um, teachings and ideas when it comes to the return of Jesus. And so I'd love if you guys would, would talk about what you've learned, what you've heard, what you've read, and just and see where everyone's at when it comes to their understanding of the return of Jesus. Awesome small groups. Again, I always finish with, I hope that you are blessed tonight or today, or whenever you guys are watching these. I hope that this video and these discussions help you and, and increase your knowledge and understanding, because our goal with the Christian Essentials is that we can articulate, we can talk about and discuss why we believe what we believe. Praying for you guys, and uh, join us in our next video, part five, as we start a discussion on the Holy Spirit.